M0FXB, welcome to my channel. On the left, we have the Uniden BCT15 scanner. And on the right, we have the classic Uniden 125 in the USA. I think it's AT, but here in the, in the UK, it's XLT. It has the extra, some extra frequencies. And they're both just scanning at the moment, as you can see. Let's watch them scan. They are analog scanners and they cover frequencies from 25 megs all the way up on the 125 up to it says here 960 and the bct 15 it does say on my google search 1300 megs they both have what you call close call so that means if a strong frequency comes in you can select close call which is this emblem here and here it will come in and if you select do not disturb when no one when there's no activity it will you will hear it basically and then if you select priority it will come in front of that really do like these nice clear orange displays you can select the brightness you can also select the contrast got this classic bear cat sort of symbol here now to turn turn the device on nice and simple just turn this off and on here again off and on and they both go straight into scanning as soon as they come on so the best thing i do if you get confused you're not sure what's going on just press the hold button the hold on the bct15 is here underneath just press hold and hold will appear there when you're in hold you can scroll through different channels we can press hold here as well hold and in hold mode you can type in frequencies and save them to what they call quick save so we'll go one four five dot five hundred that's a ham frequency and on the one two five we just press hold and it will go to that and if you want to hear it push down on the volume turn up if you want to do the squelch push down again go f f function button here which gives you shortcuts f and then so you've got to be quite quick there is a timeout then push the volume and look, you've got squelch. And it will time out again. So let's do that on here as well. We'll press, uh, well, we've got separate volume. You can see the volume number there, just above on the corner and the squelch. So that's very handy and it does give you the thing. There is GPS in the BCT15. So there are, you know, many, many features. The 125 XLT, and they have brought out a new model called the 160 DN which does have DMR, but, but it does not have close call. Anyway, the 125XLT has 500 memory programmable channels in 10 banks. You can tag names to the channels. You have a close call. It can detect CT, CSS, and DCS. The BCT15 has 9,000 dynamic channels. Very long list of functions with this one. It also has alpha tagging. PC programming on both devices. You, you do need an interface lead. The BCT15 uses a serial connection and it just goes on and on and on. You can scan your favorite aviation, marine, PMR, probably GMRS, ham radio, many different types of, of searches as well. If we go menu on this one, so to go in the menu, you go F, then E. And you've got a long menu here. And to exit, you can select exit or just hit scan. Scan will get you back out of most settings. Press hold. If you press F, then search, it starts to scan what they call the services. So you've got marine, emergency, and this one will do it. But as far as I can see, you select them separately. So you go menu, go down to search for and then you've got service search let's just say you want to search ham radio and look it will start to search all your ham radio the channels on this one are put into groups just press hold and turn that down they're put into groups on this on this on both of them really really i do use the you know just typing in the frequency quite often you just press hold type the frequency in do that again Click enter, it gives you the option to, to save. Enter, and you can tag it, so basically give it a name. You can change the frequency, set CTSS, the modulation, so AM, FM, you set it as a priority. 
you've got delay there, and on and on, there's loads of settings there. So that's one good thing, and then you can just actually scan that, it'll be scanned as well. When you're scanning, if we go back to scan, see all these numbers here? If we add one, and there's one missing there, four. It's gonna scan through all your banks. Now you can preset what are in these banks yourself. Turn the volume down. On the BCT15, if we go menu, go down to search for, and then choose custom search. It will start to also scan all these. You can edit them, you can change the name. At the moment, the name, as you'll see, um, is, is preset as custom, and the frequency is a preset, but if we hit enter, see the way custom four is now searching, and, it, and four is lit here. We can, if we press one, two, three, five, it starts to bring in all the preset frequencies that have been set into this device, and nine. So now it will just scan through all of them, one at a time, or you can just press all the buttons again, and you can deselect and only scan something that you're interested in. And so if you name the word custom, if you edit the word custom, go menu, go to search for, and this time go edit custom. See that, edit. Now I've named one there. So if we say name custom two, uh, edit name, we'll just give it a, to delete, you just push the, the dot no here, and then you've got right and left. So if we delete, do that again, menu, search. Edit custom, go enter. I'm turning the silver knob. Enter, enter. So two dots, delete it, and you go right or left so we can select. Let's put the word B because I don't want to be here all, all day. Go enter. And then we go back to scan. Just press the scan button here. And that when I hit scan there, it starts to scroll through all my presets. See that? These are my favorite groups that I've imported. And so you download them from somewhere like Radio Reference UK or radioreference.com. You download them and then you add a list and then it will just scan through them. And as it's scanning through, you deselect the list that you don't want to scan. Uh, so we go for just, uh, just scan seven. It's just going to scan seven, as you can see there. And you can hold it like so, press hold. And if you press enter, I think you can edit it as well. Look, edit the name and the frequency. Otherwise, go back to scan. Scan will always get you back where you want to be, or the menu. The reason it's flashing is because it's been set to flash uh, when it finds it, and you can change the alert setting as well. You've got GPS settings here, and you can attach a GPS item to this device. But I haven't done that. In the USA, you can press, see the, I think that's police, HP, press it again. You've got the, all these departments here that, that are by default. Well, I don't use them, so let's turn all that off because I'm in the UK. So it's lots of fun to be had. You've got the lockout feature. So let's say you don't want to hear this one anymore. You press lockout and it will temporarily lock it out. And you've got it here as well on the 125. That's temporary lockout. Press it again and it will enable it again or turn the radio or turn the scanner on and off. Close call is really good. So you go menu, menu here. Now, there are shortcuts, but we'll just go into the close call setting. Close call there. If you go close call only, you get this and it's looking for strong signals. And you press any key, it will show you what that signal is. If you go, and same again with this one here. So go F, close call, close call mode, push down. On and off. You just turn it up and down with the volume. Close call mode. Close call only. And look, now if anything is strong, it will see it. And look, it's saying it's found something. Press any key. It's found my DMR hotspot. So this is this one isn't DMR. Uh, the DMR ones I use is the 3600 or the 100. Let's go menu here. Go F menu. Do that, let's go back out again. So just hit scan. When you get lost, just hit scan, then hold. F menu. You can exit there as well. And it does store what they call close call hits, and there's settings for that as well. So, well, you can tell I'm learning this, but there's a lot to learn. You get one of these scan, this small little scanner, which you can get £120 second hand. It just does loads. There's your little USB connector there. 
for the PC. Nick Bailey is the software I recommend. Nick Bailey 125 scan or scan 125 and he, he does appreciate uh, donations to the charity. Uh, otherwise you're using other sites and there is subscription charges for that. There's loads more to these scanners but I thought I'd show you them side by side. I'm, I'm still learning but I, I'm, I'm really finding it fun. Look at the menu. Just the menu there. Definitely read the manual if you go into settings, backlight, beep, contrast, GPS, serial port. Let's go in the menu here. So it's F. Actually, no, let's just go enter. Yeah, it is F. F, enter, and there you are. Lots of settings there. And more. So many more. Different buttons with different shortcuts. You go scan, you've got the F and hit the on off you can set all the light and the contrast come out again there's your exit down f locks the screen f that's a service search that's all your services back to scan close core shortcuts f step you can check your step when you're in a in a in the different it just let's just do scan f step yeah it's not allowing me to go into that so maybe i have to press hold first then go f step no it's not so let's go search now try f step there it's letting me do it now so that was in go back to so that was in the search so i, I even i get confused because this, it does so much you've got priority you've got beep and then f mode as well so we back out and go f mode let's press hold F mode and let you can change AM FM. So it's this it's nothing like a ham radio, although it does receive most of the ham radio frequencies using this device is nothing like a ham radio. But the nice thing about it is that you know you can just sit there all day long and look at the different frequencies that you're interested in around the world and program them in and then just listen and some devices will record. If they don't record themselves, the software will record for you. Thanks for watching my channel and um, please remember I'm a newbie, I'm a learner, I, I, I'm, I'm learning with you. 7-3, all the best.